Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm going to be still continuing my Disney movie marathon. We're going to talk about the movies, shows, uh, theme parks, whatever the case may be, I guess. So, I just thought, okay, yes, they have some stuff to talk about. Okay, quite a bit of stuff to speak about here, folks. So, this is in... I guess to talk about in reference of the character Blade to some extent, I guess. I know I haven't spoken about this character in quite some time. I did review all these movies, by the way, folks. And I know there's an animated series, which I couldn't really get into, really, if I'm be honest with you. But point being is that, so yes, again, I'm talking about comic books. I'm going to this genre of fiction again and again, even though... I've already spoken about quite a bit of this, but here we go again. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. I guess to be more specific is like he's having a daughter and they could like do like a team up kind of a thing against uh another vampire or some sort of criminal or whatever. I actually I would actually like to see that in a movie if done properly, of course. And, yeah, they made a Blade 3, which was terrible. And then there was a pilot movie for a TV show that was also terrible. And I, I heard the live-action TV show wasn't particularly good either. Uh, but anyway. So, yeah, there was some news going around where they actually may bring a character back in a future film, I guess. But it may not star Wesley Snipes, from what I heard. Which is kind of disappointing, because he really made the character his own. One of those two movies that were good that he was in. And, um, but uh, again, it, I don't know what happened exactly, but for the last film he was in, in Blade 3, is that there were some production problems. I mean, that's just with him, because a lot of people were saying Wesley Snipes was being toxic himself. But it's like the entire crew was being pity, especially him. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of production, production problems with Blade 3. I mean, a lot. I kind of feel like that's like deserve his own video when you think about it, but point being is that uh, the actors want to do one thing, the producers want to do one thing, the, the director want to do one thing, the studio want to do one thing. Everybody was putting it all in, in different directions. In other words, there were too many cooks in the kitchen. I mean, that's me over, really oversimplifying it, but yeah, there were problems though. But point being is that, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing Blade having a daughter in a movie. I would argue that just, just don't reboot it. Which I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a, their own story anyway. That's not gonna really pay attention to the previous installment. They're just gonna do their own thing. I mean, yeah, it's there's already been many er iterations of the character anyway. So yeah, in the comic book line, there's been many different versions of the character to begin with. And even though most of the time they might follow the same basic idea, really. But point being is that. I wouldn't mind seeing this character again, be, but be done more properly, I suppose. So, I mean, he wouldn't be the only comic book character that had a child or two in comics. Because that's, that's been done before. There's been quite a few characters that had kids uh, in in their own comics. So, that's not particularly anything new, really. I guess it depends on how it's done. You, you could take it as a what-if story, or an alternate reality kind of a thing. Which Marvel has been planning to do anyway, to begin with, do, do like a multiverse. Okay, the whole multiverse, they, they want this to be leaned up to something. Because just like what they did with Thanos, how they will build up Thanos to be a pe big part of a big thing. They're doing that again, but with this whole multiverse. I don't know what they're going to do exactly, but they, they are planning to do something grand with the whole multiverse thing to so, I'm not sure how Blade is going to play into this exactly, really. I'm not too sure. It's the, the details are really sketchy, really, when it comes to the plot. So, I guess, maybe to some extent, this video will come out a bit dated up until whenever that film is released that he's going to be in. Is he going to be part of the Avengers, or is he going to have his own solo movie like he did with Red Snipes? I don't know. The yeah, funny thing about that, it was thanks to that movie and the success of the first Blade movie, that started the whole craze for Marvel. This is, mind you, this was like years before, years, years, years before Marvel started doing his whole expanded universe. 
Yeah, it, it was not for the fantastic movies, Fantastic Four movies. It was not none of them. It was him. He started the whole idea that comic books can be taken seriously and comic books can have their own continuous story and whatnot. He, he helped to make Marvel popular. So a lot of these movies do have that one movie to thank. So there you go. So uh, I, I do think they'd be doing the, the character on the, the movie a, a complete disservice if this rebooted everything. That's in itself is pretty damn stupid when you think about it. And I mean, at least have something to take place in an alternate reality, like in an alternate universe. We're still planning what they have been doing anyway, I guess. I mean, I would like to see Rusty Snipes involved in one way or another. Kind of like how the, in the one Spider-Man movie, there were, the, there were three Spider-Men in, in one movie. Kind of like how that worked out. It'd be cool if they gave this the same kind of treatment. I mean, okay, maybe that's me just jumping the gun there, but it would be kind of cool in some ways if they had just done that. And have her, and have, you know, her as in the daughter, come in some sort of way? I don't know. Again, I don't know what they're going to do really exactly and whatnot. But it would be cool, though. It'd be cool to see this character again in, one, in some shape or form, I suppose. I don't know. Whatever, guys. I just, I just thought I'd do this real quick. Real fast and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this, this would be cool. If they'd like to do it right. So anyway, I guess that'll be it, folks. It would be cool if they'd like to do that. So there you go. As always, thanks for watching and take care. Next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Later.